Hey, many fish. It's the first day of January 2020. New Year's Day, whatever that means to you. But I just wanted to come on here briefly. They got me out of YouTube jail. They kept me there three days longer than they were supposed to. But what are you going to do, you know? But the first thing I see all over the place this morning is, of course, to do with anti-Semitism. Now, I don't know what got me kicked off of YouTube, but, you know, we see what's coming and what's upon us when hate crime is the, you know, the new normal and hate speech is the equivalent of a hate crime, your very speech. But I just wanted to point out something really quickly here. I got another video that I want to put up later that's going to cover a lot of this stuff. This anti-Semitism, you have to keep this in mind. You've had, I don't know what it is, 10 or 12 anti-Semitic attacks. Uh, not all of them violent. Some of these are just verbal attacks that are considered, you know, hate. And just because of that, in a, in a city of 7 or 8 million people, four local Jewish lawmakers, okay, just let this sink in, are calling on the governor to deploy the National Guard. They're describing the violence as a low rolling pogrom, which is essentially a violent riot. They're also asking the governor to declare a state of emergency over anti-Semitism. Just let this all sink in. You understand this is just part of the whole plan to number one, keep us quiet and not pointing out the underlying reasons for all this stuff. You have this perpetrator who was a marine keep this in mind he was a marine of sound mind and body to be a marine but ever since he left the marines his mental capacity has gone downhill precipitously and all of a sudden he hears voices of demons telling him to go attack a jewish synagogue you see where i'm going here never before had he had a history of violence against jews or anyone else but that night, the demons told him to go attack the Jews. Think about this. But, again, I will cover this stuff in a later video. What I wanted to just point out to you now is keep this paragraph in mind here. National Guard, state of emergency, over a handful of attacks in a population of 7, 8, 9, 10 million people. It's a state of emergency. On the very day of the eclipse, that I believe it was the day before this attack, a posting went up on the UN Careers Board. You just got to let this sink in as well, because I'm not exactly sure what it means. And don't forget we have this situation going on in Virginia, which is very peculiar, worthy of keeping an eye on, okay? Always be keeping an eye on Jesus. That is first and foremost in anyone's day. It's your guide. It's your counselor. It's what will put you in the right place to understand what's going on around you as the world gets crazier by the day. But this posting title is Disarmament, Demobilization, and Reintegration Officer. How bizarre. Put up on the 26th. Runs through February 8th. And the posting, the description, the responsibilities are exactly what it says. A disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration officer. So, I had to share that with you. Like I said, seek Jesus first, foremost, and always, in all things. Turn to the word of God. It's the only truth we have in this world. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 